since you are a chartered accountant and you are working with a media company content creation company right so what type of work you are doing there right and uh, first and the second is what was your interview questions and in which were asked to you one thing which uh, i want you to tell our audience that uh, how could someone decide between a startup versus a corporate and uh, since since you are working with ranveer right <laughs> right definitely we'll also love to know her some of his secrets as well <laughs> so great guys hello everyone today we have one of our special guests tanya gupta she is currently working with beer biceps and the best part is that i can proudly say she was my gi 25 batch student so first of all congratulations tanya and welcome for this podcast session and really happy to have you here thank you so much thank you yes so tanya we just want to know your journey uh, from being qualified ca right uh, how did you decided to get into this media world or a uh, Content creation world, all of a sudden, because generally, जो बच्चा होता है सी ए बनने के बाद राइट इसके दिमाग में ऑडिट और टैक्सेशन ही घूमता है बट यू गॉट इन टू अफरेंट रोल और डिफरेंट डोमेन ऑल ऑफ अ टूगेदर सो वॉट मोटिवेटेड यू टू गो देर एंड हाउ डिड यू गो देर सी वेरी सिंपली आई थिंक इन क्लास इलेवन Uh, I chose commerce. I wanted to go for arts and humanities because लगा था I'm more good at it, like uh, probably psychology, media. But obviously arts uh, poor जो poor होते हैं पढ़ाई में जंगली बुलाते हैं वो लेते हैं which is wrong don't do that. So I'm like e-commerce ले रहे हैं तो अब लोग बोलते हैं C A C S करो and I didn't want to do it. But since people were saying that this is the only option, I went for C A. And I knew that my father wanted a chartered accountant at the house because उनके business में help होगा. So I became a C A बहुत मुश्किल से but I did become a C A. But when I was doing my article ship also मेरे को businesses देखने में ज़्यादा interest आता था. बिजनेस का बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स कैसे है हाउ आर दे मेकिंग प्रॉफिट व्हाट्स द बिजनेस आइडिया एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू बिजनेस आई वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टेड वो जब आके ऑडिट करना था तो लगता था बस चेक कर रहे हैं बट मेन तो काम मेरा बिजनेस को देखना ही है तो तो वन टोल्ड यू हैव टू जस्ट मेक बुक्स यू हैव टू डू ऑडिट एंड टैक्स वो सब मेरे लिए मैंडेटरी नहीं था मेरे लिए बुक्स ऑफ बिजनेस ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट था सो आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग एंड रियलाइज कि आई डोंट वांट टू डू दिस ऑडिट एंड टैक्स थिंग फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ फॉर श्योर एक दो साल सीख लिया गुड बट नो दैट्स नॉट माई कप ऑफ टी आफ्टर क्वालिफाइंग ऑल्सो आई वॉज डूंग कॉपरेट जॉब एंड आई आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी वेरी हार्ड बट आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माई कॉलिंग आई न्यू लाइक इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी टू आई रिटर्न इन माई डायरी आई एल बी वर्किंग विद बी एफ एस एस मीडिया वर्ल्ड विद इन द नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स वॉज वेरी क्लियर इफ आई एम शिफ्टिंग या आई हैव दैट विथ मी याके So I am from Calcutta, born part of Calcutta. So I said I can move to Mumbai. Obviously, be a very successful. So Bulaiga ni meko meko jo bhi job mil raha hai, le lete hain. Jaisa bhi le lete hain, zada hectic nahi lenge because meko to be a very successful jana hai. I said took up any. I worked with a good company only, with a branded company. I came to Mumbai and jaise I came to Mumbai, started cold mailing the founder, started DM on LinkedIn with every person be a very successful media. Saying that this is what I am and this is how I can contribute to your company. I didn't say no. Please, I want to be with your company. Please hire me. No, and everyone accepted my connection request. No one replied to me. So one fine day, the manager, operations manager, replied, "This is my number, and you know, just to get in touch with me." <clears throat> I messaged him, and he said, "Let's do a call." I said, "Thank you." And it was a very free flowing conversation. And after four months, he said, "Come on, let's just start your journey with Via Biases." And that's how it happened. अच्छा got it got it got it but why be a bias so all of a sudden matlab uh, uh, something must have struck to your mind after you qualified ki yahi jana hai or something which motivated you to join here i think in, i didn't know ranveer i didn't know anything in 2020 covid happened and everything everything became about youtube and i joined 2020 with linkedin so i used to see there's a guy ranveer alabad there whatever i didn't care about his name be a bias so se likha rehta tha and i used to love his posts But he used to post with a picture. I was like, "Who's this guy of a beer company, and why is he putting pictures of himself?" But I used to love his content, and it's a very big deal. Like beer biceps, I said, "Yeah, why is this beer company guy?" And I don't drink, and also I didn't know that this is. I thought it's a beer company. I said, "Boy, you know, I told my brother, you should follow this guy on LinkedIn. He posts really good. It's about Bhagavad Gita, Mahabharat. He used to post. 
and one day he posted about uh, on guru purnima about his five teachers he had posted okay. about sadguru also and parmanse yogananda also which is my guru also so i like i really love this guy he posts good content and he, my brother said you know who is he i said no he's a very famous guy he's a youtuber mm-hmm. and stuff i said okay i didn't know so i started watching his content and i could just relate a lot to him as a person and even with the co-founder he used to speak like manish pandey i had huge respect and i could understand that they are the people who will actually hone their team they'll think about the people first and not about themselves and everything so it's very clear i this is as soon as i clear i'll join that company 2020 me had decided and when Achha. i cleared in 2022 it was the first thing i cleared i wrote dio vs media within 6 months i don't know kya kya kaise kya hota hai nothing i just knew i'll go there full stop oh bhai saab but how is the journey since you said that you send a cold mail to all of the people or uh, sab apne approach kiya but were uh, is it is, is it true that all the people will reply or how was your journey after that ki since you said you take you four months right so were you able to maintain that patience level uh, so just wanted to know the inside of a story see i cold mailed the co-founder mr manish pandey in october and okay. i didn't get and it was a very beautiful mail where i said that i am a chartered accountant these are my strengths and this is what i can contribute and this is what i want to learn also so i didn't just say that i you know please help me i want to be with with the company because when you say that you want to learn they'll think that you have nothing to offer them so i told clearly these are my strengths and i can offer this to you and even if you don't think i'm the right fit i am happy to be an intern or an executive assistant to you whatever like this is how i ended ki aur theek hai free mein bhi kaam kar legi 10 saal likhe bhi kar legi but kar legi i was like that that whatever so he didn't reply i then started Uh, sending everyone dms on linkedin no one replied everyone accepted my connection request but no one replied to me mm. so when the operations manager who stood the ceo of the company whom i didn't know had the hiring power he replied instantly knowing that i'm a ca and everything and holds value if you think ceo doesn't mm. hold value i know he replied to me because i was a chartered accountant with a proper decent linkedin profile who i used to post regularly had a normal picture and all those things So he just said, you know, just DM me on my like WhatsApp and let's just connect on call. He said, you know, Dhanika, you come on a call and everything. And it was like one hour we spoke, and after four five months, it happened that I uh, they hired me. But I realized after I got hired that the co-founder had actually forwarded the mail to the team that talked to her, and I was Whoa. shocked that oh my god, I thought no one has seen the mail. But he said, look, he had seen the mail and he forwarded it to the concerned team member. that time mm. there was no opening so they didn't contact me but i was very happy that people do open their dms mm. they open their mails <laughs> they read it and they forward it to the concerned team member right yeah right 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 so how do you feel after you joined and right how was your excitement level on a day one because it was your dream come true so how was yeah. your day one wanted to listen it out in short my day one was i think uh, <laughs> it was i was grateful was uh, i knew i had seen some glimpses of the office as soon as you enter there's a huge on the left on the right is a buddha statue it's an open kind of mm. an office with greenery and i that was one of the again reasons ki the ambience the work the people the culture it's an open office so it would be very good and i was like there's so much it's so quiet you can work uh, you can, there's a garden you can sit on the benches and work There's a meditation Japanese kind of a room, so you can sit there and work. There's a chill zone, so you can just work anywhere. And there's so much of peace and tranquility. Beautiful. There's a studio where there's shooting and all going on. So I'm like, oh my god, this is the best office ever. And I was just, I think, I was full of full of gratitude that when you write something down and you see this is my goal, it comes true. 2020, I had thought I'll come to this place in three years. I was there. And when mm-hmm. it's written on my diary, within six months I will be working with BIA Vices Media, Randhira Lavadya. I was there. Probably took me eight months, but I was there. So yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And uh, since since you're working with Randhira, right? Right. Definitely, we'll also love to know some of his secrets as well. <laughs> uh but yes uh, so how how has been your journey working with ranveer or what are things you have learned with him i think ranveer is very intense as a person he is like very very motivated very like hardly i think people have seen him laughing and smiling because he is so much driven with his work you know this is what is supposed to be done and that is not done like he just 
very focused with his work and but he's also very open to suggestions if people are suggesting him something he just listens to them and he's like you take a call he is given the team culture is everyone has got so much of power and liberty that i'm if you are this position you're giving you the power to whatever you think is right you don't have to take permissions and then probably they'll approve and nothing like that so it's very open culture you come and the thing is you communicate as much as you can communicate if something is not happening talk so it's beautiful he is very driven and very very focused and i think if, and he works 200 hours in his schedule is always full when you have a look at his calendar it's like 9 to 9 30 9 30 to 10 30 10 to 4 podcast 4 to 7 office i like oh my god like your calendar is at the moment filled with 4 gir batches this calendar is exactly the same so i think yeah uh, <laughs> so i think so everyone learns from that right true 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 so being a founder everyone loves their baby to grow right so that is yeah. something which is which is a founder driven organization is always very focused ke nahi yaar kuch bhi ho jaye main to apna 200% dunga great yeah, yeah, great, yeah. great 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 so also wanted to know right uh, ki since you are a chartered accountant and you are working with a media company content creation company right so what type of work you are doing there right and uh, first and the second is what was your interview questions in which were asked to you so my work there is basically business uh, any new initiative business in business initiatives i'm handling operations business marketing of things the whole back end of stuff i'm handling that so it's related to social media but the business part of social media and uh, my questions honestly when uh, the guy who was the operations manager then he said you know let's connect on call and there was a zoom uh, google meet so one and a half hours i'll tell you uh, sir had taught us that you know they'll uh, talk to you that in interviews your five year goal should say this 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 and i learned it by heart and i hated it because those were not <laughs> my lines this is ki <laughs> five this is what i do and this is what i can bring uh-huh. to the company i'm like no i am lying i am lying and i used to hate it when they say it in my interviews there no uh-huh. so when this happened i it was a conversation like we were having before with for one and a half hours and he just asked me about me because he told mm-hmm. you are chartered accountant we know i got hired till now they don't have my cv they didn't ask for my cv by the way okay mm-hmm. so they trust the person and they asked me about myself what are my goals what kind of person am, am i what is my daily routine just they wanted to know about me like there was just one there was one person who took my interview but it was a free flowing conversation they just check actually in their way if the skill set matter more than anything like, or your mindset matters more than your skill set how are you as a person it's a organization which focuses a lot on culture It means you should be a good cultural fit to the company there are a lot of mm. like i can't say a check a box but you know when a person is not of the right culture people are not like you know trying to snatch work or something vulture culture kind of a thing no very happy harmonious you communicate talk you know so you should just be that kind of a person and not be like vultures in the company we just wanted to know about me every question was what's your day like what do you like to do what kind of movies do you want to watch why the switch from ca to this field so is money important for you those things completely like i think people for some people it find a difficult question is money is important to me or not but that's what they check <laughs> right true 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 yeah. true right so how how is the life in startup since you worked with your corporate as well now you're working with a startup so what is the transition which you have seen in both the journey i think uh, corporates are very like there's a set routine there's a hierarchy uh, there are mails every day you come and you open your mails and this is what you have to do and everything has to take approval and there are team meetings and um, that is i think even the benefit, <laughs> the benefit i, I, I got to know what what you were trying to say office politics <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh, that's i think one of the reasons i wanted to join bfsf media is because i know there's uh, office politics it won't be there obviously i think some thoda thoda that's very i think manageable to thoda no i won't even call it politics wo thoda sa hota hai but of bfsf me there's no office politics i can see that for sure but in normal corporate decisions you take you know to take approvals this is supposed to be done and that's supposed to be done no specific role if this is my role i'll just do this you have to probably schedule meetings also you probably write the minutes also you have to do everything you know so it's more quick easy and uh, it's especially in this company it's more like they try and include everyone in the company you know they don't want to make you feel left out or anything this 
you're not a family but you're a sports culture mentality is there in that company ki mm. let's go for it you know let's just if you have an idea let's let's implement it and don't implement things don't talk don't give idea implement so mm. yeah so it's a lot of like hustle culture which it's very beautiful for me you, you okay. just you think it's your own company and you work for it every day i don't mm. feel i'm working there i feel it's my own company mm. True, true, true. Now, I, I still remember that day one when I got selected in Udaan, right? It was, it was a startup. Yeah. So, I called in HR saying that, ki, what is the dress code we need to wear? Do we need to wear formals or what? <laughs> they just said, you're crazy. You're coming to this startup. You're coming to half pint. Then I asked her next yeah. question, what is, the, what is the timing? This is, this is yeah. the timing. Nothing like a call is the timing which is there, but you need to be yeah. there at 10. So, generally, the startup is yeah. very chill at this. So yeah, yeah. this is this is what I say a startup and the corporate world is different. And one thing which I say to the people out is that one year working in a startup is equal to three years working in a corporate. True, true. <laughs> I have not worked itna like this time I am eco. I think I worked Saturday, Sunday, Bara Bajit. I have loved every bit of it because felt like you you actually feel whatever you're doing, you can see it. Ki ye maine kaam ke dekho ye dikh raha hai. Social media mein mein probably maine ye likha hoga, ye description mein likha hoga, ye idea mera tha. When you do problem corporate, see, kaha, kaha, see, float, okay, kaha, kaha, jate, never know. So it's, and it's very, even the, like, uh, the clothes I have, I had all formal wear. Sometimes, since I have it, I wear it to the office and people are like, why are you so overdressed? I think because <laughs> you guys wear your track pants here. Yeah. So I mean, that's all I have. I have, what do I do? So I wear shorts oh. also, I wear dresses also, and they're like, you're too overdressed, man, you're too overdressed. I said, what do I do? I have to just use these clothes. That is what I used to wear. I have all those heels and jackets and formals and everything. Got it. Ha, true, true, true. No, that is there. So also just wanted to know, since you have worked with uh, uh, both the areas now, and uh, since you have a good exposure of a startup, uh, but one thing which uh, I want you to tell our audience that... Uh, how could someone decide between a startup versus a corporate? See, I think it's, it really depends on personality, I feel. More than what you will earn, if you think I want a, probably a stable job, it's not like the timing home, make a stable income, you should go for corporates and increment, we also will get good increments and all those things. But if you really think, also you'll get good increments and all those things. But if you really think, yeah, I want to do something big and probably of my own someday, you know, you should actually join startups because you don't get a knowledge of your thing. You see 10 other things are happening simultaneously and how you probably have to manage everything at the same time. And just very fast, quick, in two minutes, things change. Kuch upload True. hai, delete karna, bohut kuch do do minute mein badalta hai. So yeah. you, and you can't be like, I'm unavailable and stuff like that. You have to be available. 24-7, mm. you have to be kind of like, I'll not check my phone and stuff. <laughs> I remember at 12 o'clock, I'm probably with my friends out and I'm just messaging, yes, yes, this is done, this is done. And my friends are going crazy. What are you doing? It can happen tomorrow. I said, no, upload is now. It has to happen now. Like, mm. it is that quick. I can't do that. You know, mm. so things move very, very fast. And probably your growth is like, I think the growth is like this. In corporate, it's like this. Aste, aste. So startup is very easy. And if you want to start something of your own, I think startups is the best place. You know, True. any startup, but you should definitely work in one for once in your lifetime, I feel. True, 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 true. I also still remember, right, when we were working at Udan and currently at CMO also, right, I saw that you should think that you should do that Right, in fact, yeah. from that moment itself, right, so we executed yeah. very yeah. fast. So yeah, that yeah, is yeah. something which a startup is known for. Great, yeah. great, great, great. great. So a uh, few questions before we wind up, right? Uh, the first is, of course, any pro advice which you want to give to the students or the people watching this? I think mostly even I get messages that, you know, I am a CA and now I want to switch. What do I do? I didn't do that because I was very clear that this is what I want to do. Media, I've always loved media since I was in school. Being in front of camera is something I enjoy. Being in this field... Looking at the lights, the camera setup, I go crazy. When the shoot is going mm. on, I'm like the happiest child around because I love every part of it when I'm in the studio. Okay. Yeah. So first know your calling and probably what you're good at. Don't mm. wait for becoming a chartered accountant. <clears throat> you know why? Because once you become a C, you know, there's a certain salary which you get. From there, if you have the capability to start from the scratch, great. To make mm. that switch, then great. Like I did. 
Otherwise, just before you become a C, be very clear what you want to do. And you already have articles with experience of three years. You know what is it that you will get either practice job. So be very clear that it's not उससे नया कुछ ज्यादा नहीं है प्रॉब्लम इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग कंसल्टेंसी है बट उसका कोर वही रहने वाला है सो ट्राई इंटर्नशिप्स करो काम करो बिफोर यू बिकम अ सी बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट बिकॉज देन अदरवाइज यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच द सैलरी यू विल गेट विल बी प्रॉब्लम लो सो जस्ट बी वेरी श्योर ऑफ व्हाट यू वांट टू डू बिफोर यू बिकम अ सी गॉट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट ग्रेट ग्रेट सो बिफोर वी क्लोज इन अ फ्यू रैपिड फायर राउंड which is not a, pra- a part of a <laughs> script <laughs> okay <laughs> so we have a okay. short rapid fire round for you let's see uh, uh, how you can answer it okay the first is which is your favorite movie english kal ho uh, english pursuit of happiness hindi recently is 12 fail and kal hona ho okay great 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 favorite book autobiography for yogi i always have this book with me all the time acha oh really nice really nice really nice netflix or party <laughs> none, none of the above <laughs> none of the above ye galat option de rahe ho shivam to yeah okay okay favorite podcast of ranveer it was with sehwag virinder sehwag and yuvraj singh i'm a huge cricket buff i love cricket so i love all cricket podcast with manish pandey also the co-founder i loved it but with sehwag and yuvraj i absolutely loved it got it got it got it great great so that's it that's it from my side right really happy to have a conversation with you tanya and uh, i wish you all the best for your career ahead and really happy that uh, students of ours are going to the different places and i'll always use your name whenever it comes to a session on a cold mail and cold messaging right i'll, I'll yeah. always yeah. use your name and as a reference then student will be like sir inko linkedin pe connection bheja hai unhone accept kar liya <laughs> yeah and i want to i want to say this that i get so many connection requests and people probably know that i don't accept it no only reason be Not... you have to say that how why like happy to connect why are you happy to connect you have to let me know please because i i don't i don't i can't be rude to people and reply he and probably i got some message i want to join beer bicep you getting beer spelling galat bicep spelling bicep please why do you think i'll reply to this always uh-huh. always say what are you going you going to offer and if you send it to anyone and i learned this from shivam himself that send a proper personalized message has to go and then probably a person doesn't expect twice thrice they will so yeah that's true, what i true. did true Thank true true to you so i think yes re- correctly said uh, adding a note is very important when you're connecting with someone mm-hmm. right and definitely guys if you have any queries anything which you want to ask right please put it out in the comment section right we'll be happy to read right tanya will be also happy to read it out we'll try to answer all your questions and queries and once again tanya thanks for joining in i wish you all the best for your career ahead stay in touch right we'll keep you traveling more and more <laughs> yes for sure happy to help